cervical plexus and the deep cervical region here, we've got the superior cervical ganglia, the middle cervical ganglia, and the stellate ganglia. This is the sympathetic chain here. The sympathetic chain is going to hook up to the ram, to the intercostal, or I'm sorry, not the intercostal, the ventral rami via these nerves here, which are gray rami communicants. If you are above T1, you have only gray rami communicants. That's why I see the ones come up the front, they're white. From these ones are white and gray down here, white, gray, white, gray, white, gray, white, gray, from T1 to L2. Then below L2, you only have gray again. How do you tell the difference with the white? White or farther out. Farther out. Mm -hmm. White and wider, that's how you remember it. Right, wider, yeah. So we have white rami communicans, gray rami communicans coming off the sympathetic chain here between T1 and L2. Up here, we only have gray rami communicans, superior, middle, and stellate ganglia. This is the phrenic nerve traveling on top of anterior scalene. Here we have C1, C2, C3, C4. Here's C5 and C6 joining together to make the superior trunk of the brachial plexus. C7 making the middle trunk of the brachial plexus. C8 and T1 making the inferior trunk of the brachial plexus. These trunks are then going to do, go into divisions. Anterior and posterior division of the superior trunk. Anterior and posterior division of the middle trunk. Posterior and anterior division of the inferior trunk. All the posterior divisions join together to make the posterior cord. This is going to become the lateral cord and this is going to become the medial cord. So that's brachial plexus. The rest of this is going to go to form cervical plexus up here. You also have cranial nerves up here that can be tagged. Cranial nerve 1, 2, 3, 6, 12 on the midline. 4 is going to be coming around the backside, 5 on the side. And then 7 through 11. The, the most important one is 11 because 11 is going to come down the spinal cord here and also going to exit the jugular frame in here. So 11 is going to have the spinal portion and the accessory portion depending on which portion you're looking at. Questions Mu on that one? Muscles. Anterior scaling, middle scaling, middle scaling, uh, SCM. SCM. Okay. All right, next model is going to be Barnaby. Well, it's, you should kind of know it. Just to, The roots and trunks of the brachial plexus and suprascapular are fair game. So on this one, we have yellow is the sympathetic chain. See the sympathetic chain here? Mm hmm if we follow the sympathetic chain out, this is going to be the superior cervical ganglia, this is going to be the middle cervical ganglia, and this will be the stellate ganglia. So these are the same things on this one on the yellow here. You just can't really see it. Correct. Now the other nerves that we have here is we have uh, our vagus. This is vagus right here, coming down forming the esophageal plexus and the cardiac mm -hmm. plexus. Coming off of vagus and going through here, that's the internal laryngeal nerve. Then coming off of vagus down here, looping around the right subclavian, that's the right recurrent laryngeal nerve. Those are the branches off of vagus. Then we have this one here, which is funny that they called it 12 because this is actually cranial nerve 12, hypoglossal, entering above the hyoid bone. Most of the rest of the nerves here, the only other ones on the midterm are going to be these ones going to the eye. Two is the ciliary ganglia, one is the frontal nerve, um, and the lacrimal gland and eye muscles are the only other thing on here. The rest of the stuff is reserved for the final. Facial nerve here, hmm. brachial plexus here, roots and trunks of the brachial plexus. Is there muscles on this one? Yeah. Muscles on this one, we have trapezius here, splenius capitis here, semispinalis capitis here. Um, this is going to be the posterior scaling, middle scaling, anterior scaling. What about and then it? over here we have sternohyoid, sternothyroid, thyrohyoid, superior belly of the omohyoid, and right back here is the inferior pharyngeal constrictor. Okay? That's one, two, three, four muscles right there on the... Uh, sternohyoid, mm -hmm. sternothyroid, thyrohyoid, superior belly of the omohyoid, mm -hmm. inferior pharyngeal constrictor. Okay. It's hard to tell This is me. mylohyoid. Oh, uh, okay above the hyoid bone. Good. Who else do we have? Um, you mentioned the hypoglossal, the vein, the tarbosal? Artery, the lingual. I thought you said the ascending. Phrenic nerve has the ascending cervical artery. Okay. Um, this one I can't really tag on the exam because they put the answer key on the model. <laughs> See? Ten? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I this forgot. This is Vegas. Mm -hmm. This is this hypoglossal. That's up. glossopharyngeal. I could just tap Process cover it up. Yeah. <laughs> but what you sticker. should identify here are these C1 spinal nerve, C2 spinal nerve, C3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
spinal nerves, and these would be the ventral rami, dorsal rami would be coming off and branching off back this direction. But it's nice to see the relationship of these nerves with the bones themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. So vagus nerve, um, C1. Well, the arteries aren't tagged, are they? Arteries could definitely be tagged here. Arteries here, we have common carotid branching into internal carotid, external carotid. External carotid is going to give off the superior thyroid artery, which gives off the superior laryngeal artery. Next branch off is the lingual artery, and then the facial artery coming up. Continuing up, may we would have an ascending pharyngeal artery right here, which would come right off the bifurcation and go deep. You would have an occipital artery here, which goes deep to the mastoid, and you would have a posterior auricular artery that would come here, superficial to the mastoid. The terminal branch of the external carotid is going to be the superficial temporal and maxillary. Maxillary is going to come forward and throw off a whole bunch of more branches. Coming off superficial temporal right here should be the transverse facial artery. So that's arteries on this one. Also, this one has a very good circle of willis for arteries. We have the arteries on this side as well. This one again was the uh, uh, facial. 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 Mm -hmm. So superior thyroid giving off superior laryngeal, lingual, facial. Facial is the one that's going to cross the mm -hmm. mandible. Occipital is this one. We're missing ascending pharyngeal and posterior auricular. And then this is going to branch into superficial temporal and maxillary. Mm. Also a good circle of Willis on the inside here. Beanie. Last one. Hmm? Oh, I was just saying beanie. Right. Beanie man. I am going to actually take this off for video purposes. but Do not do what she does right now. Yeah, only I'm allowed to do this because I'm a teacher. I'm the teacher.